Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We are taking the S13 to Winton for a circuit day. This will be my uh, first proper circuit day of any kind really and uh, definitely the first of any grip driving I've done in the S13. So I was kind of nervous. I got invited by a mate of mine for his birthday and uh, yeah, it turned into one hell of a day. Very flat, very nervous. So in preparation for this event, we haven't done a hell of a lot, but we've swapped the stock uh, knuckles back into the front, got rid of the drift knuckles and put stock low control arms back in. We have put a rear sway bar back in the car and realigned it to suit the circuit. That is about all. Funnily enough, it's probably the roughest state it uh, looked ever in this uh, day. It looks proper drift back with this matching guards and missing kit. Yeah, honestly my car looks plenty to go into a drift event normally, so. It showed up a little bit rough, but uh, yeah, bolted on a set of second-hand AFTs from work, and uh, yeah, just went out there and sent it. I suppose it shouldn't have been super surprising, but I was uh, quite nervous actually, um, doing something different uh, out of the ordinary. And uh, yeah, put the first session out, it was all uh, all nerves, didn't even get any sort of clean laps in and stuff like that. But uh, as the day progressed, I got more comfortable and uh, found a bit of a groove and had some fun. Alright, first session done and dusted. Definitely not comfortable yet by any means, but the, uh, I wasn't worried about the old tyres, that's not really an issue, they came up to temperature, no problem. Starting to get a little bit comfortable with how the track flows, but uh, yeah, we are going to struggle all day with braking. I uh, definitely overestimated my braking abilities, but also, I don't think it's just the pads and fluid, which is my first thought, I think the master thought was actually toast. Which I've had a suspicion of for a while, but I've never really noticed how bad I was still trying to grip on it. So, anyway, we'll see how the rest of the day goes. Alright, time for our second session. Hopefully, uh, get a bit more comfortable this time. A bit more consistency. Got a kid behind us in the Lotus. I'm sure he's going to try and bully us. In case it isn't painfully obvious to see, we are fighting a lot of understeer. 
We've got 255, 4017 fronts, and 295, 35, 18 rulers. On the top of that, we've got 9 kilo front springs and only 4 kilo rear springs. So, very much not the right suspension setup for the tyre combo. I was actually only trying to find 255, 4018s for the rear, or 265, 35, 18s for that matter. But just wasn't what I had second hand at the, uh, at the store at the time. So, uh, yeah, 295, 35s it was. And realistically, we really needed a 6 kilo spring in the back. I think the thick sway bar in the back helped, but it wasn't enough to uh, really combat the problem. And on top of that, whilst we put stock knuckles in, we still had the rack move forward, um, 40 mil, which actually takes a lot of acumen out of the car as well. So all of these combined definitely didn't help our turn-in situation, but it helps us get used to trying to find a smooth line um, rather than just rely on turning the car in sharply and having it turn in for you. We had to really focus on getting everything right to get the corner exit right. And little by little, it slowly came together. That was fucking sick. What a beast. I don't know if you can see, but when I got out before, we are literally just smoking brakes. Oh, fuck, nice and blue. <laughs> Definitely used every inch out of that. And I did what I told all my customers not to do, which is don't go 100% for more than two laps in a row and get your tyres all greasy, which is definitely what they did there, that last lap in particular, even the lap before. But you can definitely tell I was starting to overheat the tyres and I was starting to go squirmy. Or I just got them up to a bit above where our pressure is. We've only done one session and we're pretty cold by the time we check. So we'll check our pressures now and uh, yeah, reset them at 30. They're probably up a bit higher now. We'll see how they go. What did we do, Danny? Uh, doing pretty well in a car with cooked brakes. Look at that. This. Look at that zoom. Okay, can't read shit. Where's my best lap? There. A 132.2. I knew I was doing some pretty decent flies there, but I did not expect to come in with a 132.2. Even by the end of this weekend, so I am wrapped with that, especially given. Definitely couldn't use the maximum of the brakes and we're still fighting a lot of big corner understeer, especially in that M section, it's really struggling. But man, a 132, it's fucking insane. <laughs> and I haven't put the slicks on yet. <laughs> fucking wild. Circuit racing is fun. So in the third session of the day, which is a uh, passenger session, we're not actually timed uh, officially because we're only supposed to be going 80%, but if you looked at how everyone was going out there, myself included, I would say they're more like guidelines. <laughs> anyway, we actually turned the boost up to uh, high boost, so normally we're running about 19, maybe 20 pound on the normal boost, and high boost is about 24, 25. I wanted to test it before I put the slicks on. I did bring a set of slicks for later if I was getting comfortable and uh, wanted to try them out. So we tried high boost on this and for whatever reason the hit cut straight away. So we drove straight back into the pits, plugged the laptop in, put that straight back to where it was and we left it for the rest of the day. Didn't have the time or want to bother stuffing around with that. It uh, worked well enough. It's always the same as drifting. It's always more fun to have passengers in your car. So then he came along for the trip, provided to tell you, as, uh, as I often steal from him, and uh, it was a fun day. Track for days is uh, who ran the event, by the way, if anyone's wondering.
those laptops anyway. Huh? It's a shame we never know those laptops. Yeah, no shit. I reckon they'll be better. They felt. Well, I know we didn't get the fuck. Yeah, no, fuck the sweeper. Dude, even with the fucked up sweeper, the rest of the track you would not believe was so much better than last time. Yeah. And that was. The M section felt much better. Is that how you been the apex? I was plow out the steering before, bro. Okay, so now hitting the late apex was good. Yeah, that worked. You're getting a good drive out of it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to do before, but it would never turn in enough. Yeah, yeah. The car, like, look, it's borderline understeer, but compared to before, it is so much better. Yeah. So we just had our passenger session with Danny in the car. How was it, Danny? Look, not bad, not bad. Not bad, good size? Yeah. So we didn't get any super clean runs, but uh, it's not timed anyway. So, but we made a few changes to the car just in terms of shocks, um, which definitely helped the understeer issue we were having earlier. And um, we did try high boost. I'm very, very glad we did that in this one because <laughs> yes. we were going to do it for the slicks. But um, yeah, we are now on the slicks for the next session. Yeah, it didn't like the high boost. It was cutting, so we had to come in after the first lap, put it back down to low boost. Not even going to worry about whatever's causing that. It's probably just limit set too low, but. Uh, yeah, she's gonna be fast. I'm keen. It's probably gonna take a session to bed these in or get them right up to pressure and temperature and scuff all the shit off of them they've been sitting for a little while. And uh, fuck, I'm keen to see how different they're gonna be. It's gonna be wild. I'm loving this. And we have so much time to film. I'm vlogging for the first time ever because look, I'm just chilling around. <laughs> how good are sessions? <sighs> Let's get it. All right, we're out for our fourth session technically, our third time session after the last one with passengers, not time. But now on slicks. Full tank of fuel. Getting to see how it goes. It's gonna be pretty smooth to warm everything up for the first two laps because we're running starting pretty low because we know we're gonna get pressurizers, so yeah. We'll just try and be smooth the first couple laps, nothing crazy, don't wear the brakes out. faces because that was a workout that was fun stupid fun slicks definitely fixed our understeering issue if it understeered it was me being an idiot probably but uh we didn't quite get a full clean lap but we still what do we do 131 yeah 131 three, three. Three? 131 three so we a full second faster than before without a clear track so oh i'm pumped that was like mega adrenaline rush that was sick and the car is picking up three wheels like everywhere Picking up three wheels, picking up one wheel, I should say. It's three wheeling. So probably not the probably not the best thing, but it, I'm sure it looks sick. 
Everyone was giving me thumbs up down the fucking, as I came on the main straight, they were all like this, so I don't know. They must have been loving it. <laughs> yeah, keen. Anyway, we're going out for passenger session, so Benny gets to see what it's like on slicks now. Yeah, let's do it. So this is the man that brought me here. This is Kit. Hello. This is his, uh, this is his amazing Lotus. <laughs> And uh, yeah, thanks to Kit who invited me out here. I probably wouldn't have done a grip day, but uh, I'm having so much fun. So yeah, thank you very much. You're I welcome. very you're much welcome. appreciate this opportunity. We're doing it again next year. <laughs> oh, there you go. We're doing it again next year. Next year he's going to come to a drift event. I've yes. been on way. I'm slowly going to get him into that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, really, thank you very much. I've had so much, so, so much fun. You're welcome. You're welcome. I think one warm up will be enough to get us in the tent this time, unlike last time.
Oh, my butt. Break the butt. I probably shouldn't have done the last lap, but the last lap was super tidy. Yeah. Woo! Especially like, uh, we both knew when you had a really good exit on that s bed Yes, that was the best yeah. exit of the s bed yeah. I've like, ever got. Even like, well, you're like probably like half throttle, um, yeah. and then like... I was speeding it on early, it was yeah. fucking yeah. good. It was like, yeah, the first you've seen on that exit so much more. And, like, yeah. So as we head out to our very last session of the day, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with the car after that last uh, passenger session with Danny, and I'm ready to send the hell out of it. I'll leave you with some raw driving footage for these couple of laps, and uh, just listen to that SR screaming. You. Thanks for tuning in guys. I had so much fun taking the S13 to a uh, circuit day. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely plan on doing some more in the future. Not sure how soon, but uh, we'll definitely got to get back out there. We ended up with a 130.4 in our very last session on a hot, greasy track, so I know there's a hell of a lot more in it. Maybe the s is a better circuit car than the car. Who knows? Nah, jokes. Anyway, we've got some exciting news with the s coming up and some big events, so stay tuned.